Hello everyone. Today in this video session, we are going to learn about the importance of AutoCAD and SOLIDWORK for designing and drawing in mechanical engineering. Importance of AutoCAD. It improves productivity and helps the users to visualize their final results. These softwares enables users to create documentation for their design. It gives accurate results and is easy to use. These softwares are used for various designing purposes, but the best example of its application is seen in Team VCT Solicthon. Team VCT Solicthon is the very first solar electric vehicle team of Vidyavadhini's College of Engineering and Technology. Formed on September 2017, the team has been using the same software to design and build its solar electric vehicle. From designing to deciding the material of car, the accurate results obtained helps Team Solicthon to build a better car every time. User-friendly softwares like AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS helps in designing from basic machinery part to complicated models. Team VCT Solicthon stood All India First Strang in National Solar Vehicle Challenge of 2020. Following are the achievements of Team VCT Solicthon. With the help of AutoCAD, let's learn to design our own 2D drawing. Make sure you are in drafting and annotation workspace. And if you're not in this workspace, switch it from this drop down menu. You can also switch your workspace from this gear icon. So click on this gear icon and select drafting and annotation workspace if it is not already selected. Once you have made the selection, select the rectangle command from draw panel or home tab. Click at point anywhere in the drawing area and press at on command line. You can press at with the combination of shift key and two. Now enter 56 comma 75 and press enter. So this will create a rectangle with length of 56 and width of 75 units. Next we need to create a line that starts from center of this rectangle. So let's select line, move your cursor to this midpoint but don't click. You'll observe that a midpoint O snap will appear here indicated by this green triangle. If this O snap is not visible, click on this arrow right beside object snap and turn on midpoint. I also suggest you to turn on endpoint, center and intersection as these might be needed later on in this tutorial. So let's bring your cursor to this midpoint but don't click now drag it downwards. You'll see this green tracking vector and then move it to this left side and again move it to this midpoint but don't click and again track it towards left. When both these green tracking vector intersect, click and now track it towards right side and enter a length of 100 units and press enter. Press enter again to exit this command. Now from this point we'll create some circles. So start with the circle command, click on this point and create a circle with radius of 18 units. So type 18 and press enter. Press enter again to start circle command. Click on the center again and this time enter a radius of 35 units and press enter. Repeat this command again by pressing enter. Go to the same center and this time enter a radius of 45 units and press enter. So now we have created all the three circles which are required from this point. Now we need to create some circles on the top of this geometry. Now select line command, click at the center of this circle, drag it upwards and enter a distance of 65 units and press enter. Now go to circle again and select this point as the center of circle and enter a radius of 9 units. Again press enter to repeat circle command and this time enter a radius of 18 units. Press enter again, go to the same center and this time enter a circle with radius 25 or 24 units. So we have created these three circles here. Now we need to add some details to this drawing. So for adding details, select line command, bring your cursor 
to this circle and press shift key on keyboard and then right click. A contextual menu will appear. Select tangent from this menu and click on this outer circle. Now this line will always be tangent to the circle which we have selected. Now we need to create a line which is completely straight and which points towards downward direction. For that type at on command line. Enter the length of line. In this case we can choose a random length. Let's select 50 and then enter a length 50 and then angle. So press this angle sign which you can find right beside M key. So type this angle and enter an angle value of 90 degrees and press enter. So this will ensure that a line will be created which is vertically pointing downwards. Now press enter to exit this command. So we have created the circle and we have also created a tangent line. Next we need to create one more tangent line. So select line press shift and then right click and select tangent again. Click on this outer circle and now click at this point because we need to make a tangent from this point to this circle. Now click on this line and click on this grip and extend it further in a straight line. Do this for this side as well. So this line will act as our center line. And now we'll make some changes along the center line. Select trim command and press enter. Now we don't need some geometries, mostly these geometries because we'll create the geometry on the upper half and we'll then mirror it for creating the lower half geometry. We can also remove this portion. Now let's remove some extra portion from this drawing. So carefully delete the circles, arcs or lines which I am deleting. So select this one for deleting and then select this one for deleting it. Now click on this one for deleting and this one as well. So we have done the deletion. That's all for now. Let's exit this command. Now we need to select all these small bits and pieces of geometries and manually we need to delete them. So select them all, press delete. Select this line segment as well and press delete. So now we have a clean geometry here. Now let's select offset command. So go to offset, enter a offset distance of 24 unit and press enter. Now click on this central line and click upwards. So we have created an offset line. Now press exit. Now we need to create one more central line. So for that, let's select this line and join this center with this center. We need to create an offset of this line. So select offset and enter an offset distance of 65 unit and press enter. Now select this line which we have created and select this side. So click anywhere on the side and it will be created a offset line. Select trim, press enter and now trim all these extra lines. These are no longer required. And trim this one as well and trim this smaller line as well. Now we need to remove all the extra lines which are not at all required. So here we have made the next half of our drawing. So our only final portion of this drawing remains. For that, we need to select offset command again and this time enter offset distance of 6 units. So press 6 and enter. Now select this line and make an offset upwards. Again, you need to create an offset of this line but before that, select it and explode this line because right now this one is completely acting as a single unit. So we want it as a separate unit. So select this line, type X on command line and press enter. So this will explode this geometry into its individual units. Now go to offset and enter offset distance of 14 unit. Press enter. Now select this line and click towards right. Again we need to go to trim command. Press enter. And now trim all these extra lines which we don't need. So these are the lines which are not required. So. We have made the final geometry. 
now let's remove all the lines which are no longer required so we don't need this line we also don't need this central line so let's erase both these lines now we have missed a final trim so select trim again press enter and we need to trim it from this point as well and press enter now remove this line as well so this is the final geometry which we need to use and we'll make a mirror image of this geometry for making mirror image select this complete geometry go to mirror command and now select these two points so this will be the first point and you can select any other point but i'll recommend you select these two end points select this point and press enter as soon as you do this you'll see that this complete geometry is now created there is one final detail which is left which is here so we don't need this line as well that you can remove by using trim command select trim press enter and now remove it by trimming it so we have created our final geometry because this geometry has been created into two mirrored parts so right now it's acting as if these are two arcs in order to join them select complete geometry press J on command line and press enter so this will ensure that the complete geometry will end now act as a single unit and instead of an arc this arc